Hey guys. Hello. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey, you the head of the arrow. So, we have to A, hey, hey, more on that. I was down with geometry for some reason. I'm just going past me. Really, no, we, can, we can't go past me. How tired to go? I won't have to. Good. We just went through. Right. We went through. Good. I just told them what they needed, like what we all came up with for going to seven that we'd already done. Okay. And they haven't put it together yet. Okay. They, what was missing is polynomial work as far as function notation. Okay. That other than that, we had pretty much everything. Did you guys have time to look at some of those beefier questions at all? We did. We Good. used the. Cool. Randy could come up with a packet that had all these regions exam That's questions. That's what I have. Oh, perfect. Oh, you have it right Yeah, because I was going okay. Well, I don't want to make you rehash everything. No, but you guys have pulled out what we're going to use for warm up. So they're going to get it in their notes, but next year we can change it and throw it in the notes. Perfect. This year. We can supplement everything. And I'm going to use a lot of these to build the cumulative review at the end so that it's got more of a focus on the types of questions we've been seeing. Cool. Um, did Chrissy debrief at all in thinking, um, and I haven't talked to Chrissy, did she think that maybe we would get together again and do this she again? She wants to in March. I don't know the date though. Okay. So she wants to shoot for March. But what we were also thinking, do they do PLC times over there? Yes, we do. At Olympia, I do not believe they do it quite the same way. Because the other thing, we didn't know for sure, but we're going to guess maybe in two weeks on the 17th they might have another PLC, maybe, because that's too soon right. to every other week here. And then on March 19th, we have a collegiate circle day planned anyway. A couple it's people came time. from Arcadia, didn't they, on Friday? Kim was there. Okay. So, oh, okay. again, maybe we could reach out and, you know, try to minimize the impact. But um, I just think the model of being able to have the teacher leader relieve you so it wasn't sub time, it wasn't that, and, you know, hopefully it worked well for everybody. Do you guys mind if I steal a quick minute? I just wanted to follow up with a couple of the things from um, what we had done with the benchmark, because I know when we looked at it the last time, we haven't been back together for a while. But, but I thought you guys did a great job. Like, I'm looking at that unit 4B one. The cumulative review, and you know, I'm sure you already had this conversation about what questions they were, but I thought you guys did a really good job of kind of stretching into your new unit. Hey, I just want to interrupt for a second. I don't think I ever told you this, Alan, but uh, the benchmarks that you showed us um, a while ago that was like the straw that broke the camel's back for a couple of my kids, where it was like, oh, they really didn't do well on that. All right, pull them into AIS and they're, it's a good thing. You know, oh, good. It just gave me a heads up. Their scores kind of showed it too, but this benchmark was just one more score that, man, you didn't do well in that. They were having trouble remembering stuff from a couple units ago, whereas they were okay with one unit. But if it was two or three units ago, ah, eh, forget it. So I pulled them in and they're getting help now. So Perfect. Anyway. And I know you guys do with the cumulative review, them going backwards, but that is one right. of the things. In fact, we were just talking about that in the geometry. PLC is the thought that it's real, mm -hmm. the cumulative nature of things, like you really have to go And it goes more back. than just 10 days back. Yeah. You know, so some of the kids have trouble remembering that far. Well, the other thing is I finally, finally, finally have for you, because I know this is the other thing that you guys had discussed last time, asking if I could spend some time finding some questions and digging kind of deeper into those specific ones. So. What I did is I have pulled some, I hope, pseudo common core like questions um, for each. Oh, yeah. the old area question. The area of the rectangle show yeah. below. But if you notice it, it looks sort of no, completely inequality. different. Yeah. But what I tried to do is, you know, I know you guys said that it would be, you'd be more than happy to incorporate them into warm ups or a problem of the day or a ticket out the door, whatever it was. Where did you say you pulled these from? A lot of this, these are questions broken down by standard that have actually come from a variety of different okay. sources. Most of this right now is on the U drive. Okay. Um, and if you go to the U drive, I know the interventionists um, did some work with pulling this together. I know Mike Legault did quite a bit of it. Oh, that's right. Um, okay. And right. so what's kind of cool about it, and what I tried to pick, as you can probably tell by looking at it, I'm kind of as bad as the kids. When I looked at it and I saw a lot of words, I was like, oh, this is a good question. <laughs> because. Yeah, they're going to see a lot of words. You know, my yep. seniors are doing that. I showed them their first linear programming problem yesterday, and they about fell off their seats because the word problem is this long, and they just go, we can't do it because it's too many words. Yes, yes. So I did try to do some of that, but it also, again, goes back to the data that you guys collected. Um, 
from yeah. the benchmark. Yeah. These are eight, eight, nine, and twenty-six are all coming up on the last page for our next unit. This could be actually end up being a really good source to probably can pull for some for of the warm ups. I'm at this well, also for that Kimmel to warm review up, too. Warm up. Because there's definitely some things yep. to go back on to uh, some of the other linear relationships and inequalities that we've already talked about a long time ago. Um, that would be good to bring back up. And then, yeah, there's some of the factoring questions that we were already talking about that we want to keep on incorporating. Those warm-ups that you're in? Do yeah, you yeah. Use those? All right, sounds good. I'm going to run that next three, actually. And I know that Mark, Chrissy, Tony, and I have talked about um, trying to put together a third quarter benchmark. It'll just incorporate more of the standards, so hopefully that data can help you then going forward. But um, like I said, your tickets are out the door, and your warm-ups and that, I would just keep kind of hammering away. And Jim, I love the idea. And Kathy does your AIS, right? Kathy Megan? Yeah. So just let her know, you know, continue to let her know the things the kids don't seem to be getting. Oh, we talked every day. I know. Awesome.